game has turned in quite a bit of a puzzle at this point because it's you have to be in the right time as well as figure out the right area to go in so from the tower of time we have uh, glacial peak opened up howling grotto right there and the autumn hills which is the first area that uh, you end up in in the game The rest of these we're going to have to open from the other side. You just got to the part in the game where it goes open world. Yeah, I'm not too far in. So what I'm trying to do uh, is kind of figure out where all the rest of the warp gates are. Just to allow freedom of movement between uh, each of the worlds. Yeah, it's so much bigger than I thought. Definitely had the same feeling. It doesn't give you, it starts out as a, you know, a linear experience and uh, all of a sudden, you know, you, you, you know, quote, quote, beat the game or get to the end at the Tower of Time and like, nope, uh, you're not even probably halfway through the game yet, or at least that's how it feels. So well done. Yep, I agree with that point as well. Music's awesome, the controls are great. And it looks awesome. It's uh, an interesting... I don't know if I've seen many other games that have done a switch between uh, graphical styles. I know uh, a friend of mine pointed out that Super Mario Odyssey does it in a little bit of its levels, which is true. But it's not like half of the game, and they didn't have to rebuild all the other levels in, you know, an 8-bit style. Not to mention they had to do the soundtrack twice as well. Oh. <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> That's alright. In terms of anything to get for the Autumn Hills, I don't think I have anything other than that one power seal. You know, you're totally right. Sonic Generations did do it as well. Um, well, the, the, the 2D levels were all re rendered in 3D, correct? Or 2.5D. But I, I do agree with the point that it's two completely different styles. Or am I misremembering? Gosh, it's been a while since my generations came out. Sonic Generations is not a game you felt the need to go back to. I liked it. I didn't love it. I think, I, from what I remember, the ending was pretty lame. Uh, now, that being said, I did enjoy, and I probably will go back to Sonic Mania at some point.
disappointed with it after they promised the classic style. Yeah, I agree. That's that's the tale of the Sonic games. It's it's it gets close sometimes, but uh, it never quite hits it. Or at least you know the official games. there. Just keep heading to the right, and uh, I think we need a time switch in here as well. Classic mode still didn't feel like real Sonic to me, and honestly, that's the point when I, where I started to feel like there's probably nobody left in Sonic Team who even played the old games. That's a very good point as well. Yeah, I agree. Or the people that were in, in charge of the old games have gotten to the point where they're not the one making the design decisions anymore. Or they've moved on because, you know, they got bored. can only repeat the same, you know, set of ideas so many times before, you know, you have the created energy you know, to do it again. Hoping there'll be a Mania too. Yeah, throw me in that boat. I will absolutely spend on, uh... I will absolutely spend my money on Sonic Mania too. Not perfect, but... For, you know, something that was basically spawned out of a, a, the community, for what it was, it was good. It was very good. I'm trying to think, though, one of the, the newer stages that they made... I wasn't particularly fond of. There was Press Garden, there was the Mirage Saloon. I think that was that both of them? Was that it? beneath but in order to do that I need to time shift closest time shift is all the way back there like most of the new lo new levels rather than the remix with a little change yeah it's hard it, you have to walk that balance of an entire you know 20 30 wait let's think 30 years almost of history that you have to appease so it's a very tough line to walk It's like when they re it's like when they remake a movie. It's the same kind of deal. Um, 
they're so worried about pissing off the fan base that they sometimes chain themselves creatively. You know, they're trying to appease the, the folks that, it, that, you know, love the original, while at the same time trying to bring something new, and instead of just going for their vision. exact same movie, don't make one. Yeah, that one already exists. Right. Alright, so next area over. I don't really need these time shards right now. So I want to go down and around. So that I don't have to walk back through that portal. Oh, that's not even an option either. Save gate. No. There's no save gate where I can flip the time. Because where I'm at, so I'm stuck in 8 bit. Beneath uh, another two screens to the right would get us. I don't think I have the option to switch back. There was an open gate in that room to the right. Just because direction is relative to the delay for Twitch. <laughs> Which one do you mean? the U shape that you're in the middle of. There's an open gate on the right side of the U. Okay. We'll try that. It's the next room to our right. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. So I need to go all the way back over here. Oh wait, yeah, 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 I get what you're saying. I gotta reverse it now. So I want to be 16. Oh wait, I don't think I can climb over this tree. 
Wait, what's down? I have to go down and around, I think, perhaps? Let's see if this, uh, oops. Okay, so we're still 16. Which is what I wanted, I th think. Because there's another switch coming up after I get through this whole loop. So we'll try that. Get out of this loop without going back into 16. All right, so this is forced 8 bit. Shorted the jump a little bit. Okay, so we're eight bit right now. I don't know if the end of this this uh, whole loop is a is a forced one. We'll find out, I guess. So I'll stay stay in six. No, nope. <laughs> Gotta be an eight bit to get out of here. Basically, this has turned into a puzzle game. Can't get out of here unless we're... Oops. So I don't have to... I don't have to take this one. And there should be one more switch I can do as soon as I get back up top. I think. above the tree now at least. <laughs> or is there no way out of here? I just screwed myself, didn't I? But there's no way up. Yeah, there's no way up in 16-bit. Uh, in switch here is back to 16. Damn. Maybe I need to enter from... Maybe I'm overcomplicating. Maybe I need to enter from the catacombs or something uh, beneath. there's going to be a uh, there's going to be like an ability for you to manually time switch got to get some sleep good luck thank you yeah we'll see if uh we can figure out the puzzle that is 
the open world portion of this game, and uh, I hope you uh, enjoy the rest of your playthrough as well, Loomis. And uh, have a good night. Appreciate you stopping by. I think I'm going to go try the catacombs route, see if we can get a switch in there, and then come back into the level. Decide what music we want. Although you can dynamically switch it with the jukebox at the at the stores now. Oop. I just noticed the subtle little animation of um him sheathing his sword after you take a swing. Better to tank a hit and just keep going. Oh, there's a lot of projectiles going on there. Powerful sword attack. I think that's what we're missing at this point. made the decision on whether I like the uh, 8 bit or the 16 bit sounds yet. It's a tough choice. Alright. Oh, come on now. So we'll walk over to the catacombs, or actually, shoot, I missed that. Oh, we can dive down either way. The Forlorn Temple entrance will take us there regardless. So we got two Fobkins working on our, our bridge. Wait, can I just walk it straight back from here? That would make our life a whole lot easier. <laughs> I 
That worm uh, just decided it didn't want to live anymore. this one. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I totally remember this from the beginning. I didn't have the downward flying strike. Oh. I need to grapple all the way through that. That's fine. We've got the entrance. Oh, didn't want to jump there. I wanted to float. our power seal. I was gonna say, please open the door. Okay. So it looks like we're cleared out for the most part. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can get to the... Let's see, either the grotto or the catacombs. Or let's just have a look at uh, where the next door leads to. It kind of looks like the temple. didn't fire again. We already passed his two shots, so... Couldn't do any fancy cloud-stepping action there. Alright, so Ninja Village 1, Autumn Hills 4-4, four four, a Forlorn Temple we can't get into yet, the Dark Cave, uh, can't see a damn thing. Catacombs, we've gotten all three power seals. Bamboo Creek were clean, Grotto were clean, Marsh, Crags, Underworld, Peak, Ruins. So basically the back half of the levels we need to get through uh, Power Seals still. more Fobkins to get. All right, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and press on to the temple area. Hello, Star the Foxy. Hope you're having a nice evening or day or whatever it is in your time zone. Shouldn't know, assume that everybody's on U.S. East. Hope you're doing well.
All right, do we have a way to get through here yet? Or do we have to wait for them to build the bridge? You just finished the Messenger New Game Plus? Glad I got, a, got the last few stages BS over with. Well, I'm not, definitely not there yet. Um, I haven't even gotten through my first playthrough, so. All in due time. Is New Game Plus just harder difficulty, or is there uh, like a significant difference in between, like the story or anything like that?